What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech and more reviews, and we failed to talk about portable storage for this brand new iPad that we just got. So this is the 12.9 with the M1 processor, and I'm gonna do a review on this thing. I'm trying to wait until I can actually get my hands on iOS 15, so just stay tuned, be patient. It is coming because I got a lot of stuff to talk about about this thing. Other than that, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Samsung T7 SSD. Now, the reason I'm revisiting this is because I got a couple of comments on a video I did last year. And basically what they're saying is this will not work with that down there. So today, we're gonna talk about it. Let's go. So this is Samsung T7. For those of you who do not know, this is probably one of my favorite SSD because not only is it fast with read and write speeds up to like a thousand megabytes per second, but it actually has a built-in fingerprint reader, which we'll talk about in just a moment. And it also is super durable because it can withstand drops up to about six feet. So super sleek, super durable. It's just like a single piece construct. Like there are really no seams on this. So looking at it, it's it's like a just a like a little slab. That's all it is. And then you get your USB type C port over here. Now this thing supports USB 3.2 Gen 2. So it's fast, it's uh, steady, and it gets the job done. Now today what we're gonna be doing is connecting this to that new iPad. And I don't have the original cable with me right now. So I will be using this one. Now this is this is a Thunderbolt 3 cable. Now I know a lot of you may be saying this, this why are you using that? But this is probably one of my most durable cables that I have right now. Pick this one up from Pluggable. So Thunderbolt 3 cable, and we're gonna connect it to this device right now. So, a few little things about this SSD. If you wanna enable password protection, if you want to enable the actual fingerprint scanner, you have to do that either on your Samsung device, which I'll show you right here, if I can get this open. You have to use this app right here, which is Samsung Portable SSD. Now this is how you're going to actually set up all your security measures and you can actually download the same program onto your Windows or your Mac but you cannot download this app on your iPad. So let's just say that again. This application that I have right here, Samsung Portable SSD cannot be downloaded on your iPad and the security cannot be set up on your iPad. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and plug this thing up and see what we can get. So like I said, I did get comments. People were saying, oh, this doesn't work. So this is M1 iPad. 2021, the one that just came out, and we see we got the flashing light right up front. So first we're gonna go to files. So once you plug it up, this is what you're gonna get. This is T7 Touch, and you notice there's nothing in there. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lay my finger on there and activate that security, and it disappears, pops back up, and Viola. There we go. Everything you need is right here. So it is indeed working. Let's go ahead and check out a quick video, something that I got on here. Let's say. What's going on, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with more tech and more reviews, and this time we're gonna be talking about Xbox Game Pass Beta. If not, you can pick up one of these for a pretty decent price. Next thing we're gonna do, once it finally opens up, and there will be more coming. So it's no lag when I'm going back and forth, it just picks up where it stops at perfect speed no issues there so let's say we actually want to bring one of these over i'm going to select one just like so and we are going to move it and let's see let's put it we're just going to put it on my ipad copy it and we'll just wait a few moments just to see what happens and i should be able to go to my ipad and there it is now, this total file is 1.57 gigabytes and it actually just poured it over in no time. So speeds are really good. 
you can actually stream directly from this device because I have movies and all kind of stuff on this uh, SSD, but you can put whatever you need on here, plug it up, it still works. So for all of you that did have that question, yes, you can use your T7 Touch with your brand new iPad, the 2020 model, the one with M1, you can still use it. And you can also use the T5 as well. Always keep these close by because they are like some of the best SSD that I have. But the reason I like this one so much, not because of the fast speeds, which that is a big bonus, but the extra layer of security. Cause even if you lose, if I lose this one, somebody can just like format it, use it. But if I lose this one, nobody can do anything with it. They can't use any of my data. So just keep that in mind. If you want to pick up one of these, I'm going to drop a link below so you can check it out for yourself. But hopefully this has been able to help someone out until next time. Please continue to give me that big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average take guy out. Peace. Peace.